टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ स्टोरी इट इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल स्टोरी बट दिस स्टोरी इज गोइंग टू टेल यू अलॉट अबाउट द सेपरेशन ऑफ आवर कंट्री कॉल्ड इंडिया इंडिया वॉज अ कंट्री विच वॉज रूल्ड बाय द ब्रिटिश फॉर मोर देन टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स and during 200 years of british rule indians were tortured oppressed regarded as third class citizens they did not have peace of mind wherever they went they had to take permission and even the rich indians were not allowed to enter certain places like restaurants bars hotels they used to put up a notice with dogs and indians are not allowed what does it mean were the indian dogs in the eyes of the british if i am a dog if you see me as a dog are you treating me well you are not treating me well am i right or not i as a human being i need equal treatment maybe you are ruling my country maybe you are the ruler of the country maybe you have become my master but it doesn't mean that you should not show minimum respect dignity and we indians die for our dignity any human being anywhere in the world they love dignity and life without dignity is useless life without your freedom to express your thoughts <coughs> is like the life of a slave actually the british <coughs> during their rule turned every indian into a slave if the country is under the rule <coughs> of a foreign country the citizens or the natives the sons of the soil those who used to live who are the real citizens of the country will feel like they are slaves if they are not shown respect if they are not given respect if they are not treated well so in their eyes we became slaves in those days big people like netaji shubhash chandra bose why am i saying big people i could have used the word famous in front of the word netaji but i have not said as you are a student naturally the word that will help you to understand what i want to say understood what i mean by big big in the sense famous of course famous he belong to a high cultured family well to do family understood but what is well to do what is rich what is uh, you know princely in the eyes of indians was not same in the eyes of the british british thought that they were our rulers they were our masters understood even in those days people wherever they went by train whenever they entered a compartment by chance if someone entered a first class compartment even if the british soldier entered that compartment that fellow that british soldier did not allow indian officer to occupy that first class compartment to them the country is theirs they were the masters even they did not think twice before throwing that particular civil servant top officer judge out of the train compartment this is exactly what they used to do but there were some great indians they were as brave as lions they were not afraid of who they were and that exactly happened when someone a judge was going by train and a man a very simple ordinary british he threw him out of the station and he 
uh, threw his poor mother also. The man went out of the st- compartment and then he was a judge. So he gave the judgment on the spot. On the platform, he called those understood who run a court. Court is wherever the judges go. Understood? The court is wherever the judges go. If the judge, a ruling judge, if a, a, a judge goes to a particular place, even the court also follows. Understood? Naturally, that man called for what? Justice. He wanted justice to be done. He gave the delivered the judgment. He said that maybe that English fellow must be put in the prison. And he was sentenced. He was put in the prison as soon as the judge gave the de- judgment that he misbehaved not only with a old woman, Indian old woman, but also with his son who is a judge of a court. The British maybe felt very angry initially, but they did not do anything because. The Indian proved that he was a judge. He had what? The right to feel what? Equal. That is how the Indians, great Indians fought for justice. Do you understand what I am saying? Have you got it very clear? So what happened? This country which was ruled for 200 years, suppose if I occupy a country and if I rule it for a long time and if I think that this country the, that I have occupied, the, the occupiers will be the rulers forever. No, it cannot. It is, a, it is a, the truth and no one can deny it. No, can, no one can deny the truth that sooner or later you have to leave what? your hold you have to loosen your grip then only can you be good in the eyes if i rule what did jesus say jesus christ how did he become a king or prince or king of the world how did he it is through love you can rule over understood the hearts of the people If you can conquer the heart of a man, you have conquered the country that the man lived in. Understood? So how will you conquer? Jesus was the only man who taught the world that if anybody wants to win victory all over the world, if he wants to become the ruler of the world, it is not through bloodshed. It is not through battle that you can be the ruler of the whole world. You can be the ruler of the whole world only when you win the hearts of the people, when you win the trust of the people, when you show them dignity, when you let them feel equal. If you don't let them feel equal, you are not going to get what you want. Jesus made the people feel that he was close to them. He was one of them. Understood? That is how you can make your rule over a particular country permanent. And everybody, once everybody accepts you as their ruler, as their master, they will not let you do. The Indians would have cried for the British if the British treated the Indians well when they were ruling over the country. But they made the Indians feel what? Third great citizen. If you feel third class citizen or second class citizen, who will allow? You are white skinned, you are my ruler. The first thing that made them hate Indians was the color of their skin. The color of the skin of Indians. Most of the Indians were black in color, except people living in Jammu and Kashmir. Even they were also discriminated against. Even they were not treated well. Understood? Maybe Vemo and Kashmir was under the rule of a Hindu king. Understood. They did not take away the country from him. But 
they had indirect rule over the state of jammu and kashmir it was indirect rule it means they enjoys what the trust of the british and that is why the british did not interfere into the personal affairs of the king that was how maybe jammu and kashmir was a country even when the british ruled over entire india but they were under under the indirect rule of the british understood did you get what i told you is there any problem but after the british left the country what happened what happened when the british left the country it is when the british left the country do you know what happened the british divided the country based on religion they did not want indians indians means the people who practiced either islam or hinduism or buddhism understood indians consists of people practicing all the religions people of different religions different uh, community different creed different colors live on the soil of india understood they understood that maybe you indians fought for independence you made us give you independence no problem i will give you independence independence but your independence will be a curse not a blessings not a blessing because with independence you people will experience hardships you people will experience sorrows pains of separation what kind of separation the separation of india into two parts they left india but they divided the country into two parts and that is why what happened do you know soon after the country was left by the british india and pakistan war war pakistan got independence on 14th august 1947 and india got independence on 15th august a day after pakistan got her independence the two countries were born and what happened as a result of the division of the two countries as a result of division or separation what happened lot of problems what kind of problems the problems that the people face understood because of the separation of india into two parts into two halves understood based on religion so those who practiced islam got a country named pakistan they got pakistan and they were happy because the muslims wanted a separate country and this is why what happened as soon as they got a country what did they do they were happy and they made muhammad jinnah muhammad ali jinnah their prime minister and he jinnah was also known as qaid e azam understood jinna became the prime minister the first prime minister of pakistan but what are the problems the people faced you know you are living in this country suppose this country or this state is divided in two parts what will happen you have to choose either this part or this that part why because your country is divided into two parts based on religion understood so hindus were what hindus who used to live in british india earlier understood <coughs> did not <coughs> think that the country that they are living in by birth understood the land that they saw as their own will be <coughs> the part of a country 
will be the part of a Muslim country. Bangladesh, Pakistan became Muslim countries. Understood? So what happened? They had to leave that place because their religion is not Islam. So what did the Hindus do? Hindus in large number left Pakistan, entered India. When they entered India, what happened? They faced thousands of problems, hundreds of problems. Am I right or not? What kind of problem? The first problem was they were fighting for a piece of land. They were fighting for roof over their head. Understood? They were fighting for bread. They were fighting for existence. Suppose you look at Shialda station. When Bangladesh, understood, Pakistan, Bangladesh in 1947 was part of East Pakistan. When Bangladesh was separated, not only Pakistan, even Bangladesh was separated, what? From West Bengal. Bangladesh was a part of East Bengal, this Bengal, West Bengal. Understood? So, who are the victims of division? Punjabis. Understood? Punjabis had a big border with Pakistan. Long border. And even Bang West Bengal has also a very long border. Maybe, you know, uh, thousands kilometer border, 1000 kilometer border, 2000 kilometer, 4000 kilometer border. Understood? So, what happened? If you have a long border, with a country, infiltration will happen or not. So Bangladeshis who were poor, when India became rich, sometimes they entered this country. And even when the country was separated into two parts, Bangladeshis who were Hindu did not feel safe to live with people who were practicing Islam, who were Muslims. So, they found it safe to enter into India. They entered India and got Indian citizenship. But the story before they are getting Indian citizenship is painful. When they came, the time when they entered India, they had to leave either on the railway platforms or on a you know, very small place. Maybe as uh, the length was that of a mattress. Maybe uh, 10 by 5. Understood? Breadth and wide. That is how, you know, this is how the people began. Those who entered this country, that is how they began their life in India. After, when they entered India, their life was full of pains. Why? Sorrows, unhappiness, sorrows, their hearts were filled with sadness of separation from their nearest and dearest ones. Why was it like that? Can you tell me? Because when you are leaving the land that your ancestors understood, gifted you. Do you get it? The land that you are using, understood, the land that you got from your ancestors, understood, is being given away, is being given up. Why? Because the country is separated. Country is divided. And what is the basis of division or separation? Religion. Because those who were practicing Islam, those who were Muslims, their demand was they don't want to live with their Hindu brothers. So, a new country called Pakistan was born. 
and it was the result of their what expectation it was the result of their desire it was the result of their what it was the result of their demand understood it pakistan was a result of their demand or not they demanded a country that will be only for the muslims and that is why india wanted them to live at peace with their own people so indian parliament understood accepted their demand even the rulers who the british <coughs> accepted the demands of the people the, the demands of our brothers our muslim brothers and gave them what they wanted understood but i must not say this just to sadden not only the indians but those who live outside also even there are many muslims at that time who left the country why because even the calcutta the metropolitan city calcutta had a large number of muslims the dhaka in bangladesh had large number of muslims understood but when it came to what separation when it came to division of the country they could not stand it they could not bear with the pain of separation they did not bear with the pain of separation from their motherland as a result some of them went to america those who went outside for higher studies they did not come back to them the separation was very painful they could not accept what what the political leaders of both the countries wanted they did not accept as a result many thousands of lakhs of people in america live in canada live who are indians this is how indians started living in those countries understood so have i made it very clear to you so if you are living in a country understood which is uh separated or divided into two parts and if you have fallen victim to separation like the punjabis and bengalis they were the victims of separations they were failed the pain of separation only bengalis and punjabis and some other people as well they know the pain they know how painful it is to be away from their land where their forefathers had lived nobody wants separation nobody wants to leave the place which their forefathers their ancestors gifted them understood nobody want to part with it but people had to do that why it is because the country that they lived in was separated based on religion and who are the mastermind actually you know the british actually they for their gain they thought when we have not got to rule india we will not the let we will not let the indians understood live at peace with their muslim brethren understood this is the reason they separated the country so you have to understand the pains of separation so the a story was written by manik bondopadhyay and in this story 
द नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी इज फाइनल सोल्यूशन देर आर फोर मेन कैरेक्टर्स खोकोन खोकोन इज अ लिटल बॉय टू एंड हाफ इयर ओल्ड हिज मादर इज मोल्लिका हिज फादर इज भूषण अंडरस्टूड एंड द बॉय हैज अ आंटी हर नेम इज यू नो I can't. Asha, I I thought that I would not be able to remember the name. Her name is Asha. They just entered India and came to Shialda. You know, Shialda's early name was Shialda because lot of fox used to live there. Understood? This is why after the construction of the railway station, the British named it. Shialda, because there were a lot of fox who used to howl, even by day as well. This is why the station was named after Shial or foxes. Understood? So thousands of Hindus came, entered India, and they crowded outside or on the platform Shialda station. and people were entering india like flood thousands of hindus understood and there were some bad people there was a man called pramod help and welfare so he runs an ngo called help and welfare society he he came and said mullika mullika he came he is doing his rounds first time second time third time fourth time who when he came for the fourth time he said mullika you find it very difficult to live in this place so how may i help you tell me he said she said we have lots of problems my baby is crying uh for for the past two days and she has he has got nothing to it and i cannot make him white the reason is he does not we don't have money to buy milk when we are hungry my husband bhushan is hungry and i have we have nothing to give him and besides he is ill also when we don't have anything understood when we don't have money how can i feed my family tell me what can i do how can i you tell me what to do and then he said as mollika was a very beautiful lady and she said he said okay no problem i can give you work understood i will buy your son milk and all and he bought him he had a you know friend accomplice accomplice means a friend in well like that helps you understood to perform bad activities do you get it accomplice he, or uh, he he was his assistant who ram lochan and promotho promotho is the person who runs that help and welfare society do you understand in the name of running the ngo he is running illegal business what is this taking the women away they are just using the women to earn money do you get it that is how he promised help he said mollika said okay but you know you better find a job for my ill ailing husband my husband will get well soon you please do something for my husband but ram lochon heard this you know his friend promotho heard this promotho said no no we don't have jobs for male we have jobs for female so what he did he said okay i'm giving you some money buy something for you understood for your baby and uh, your family also so some money was given understood and mollika bought something actually you know that fellow actually bought them for them understood lam lochan because he was familiar with his place the boy was given milk with the help of a shell shaped spoon understood and the boy is now getting 
spell gradually then what happened <coughs> leaving ramlochan there promotho went back to his house he said look after mallika and this family till i send some assistance what happened then he said okay do one thing tell mallika if she is ready we are going to take her out of the trouble and this is why he gave some monetary assistance do you get it ramlochan went back again ramlochan came with promotho understood promotho said ramlochan you ask her whether she is ready to go or not mallika promised that she would go she also would take her you know widowed sister in law with her means sister of bhushan understood what is the name of bhushan sister what is the name of bhushan sister no asha we i will take asha also but when that fellow ramlochan came to the house he said do one thing mallika uh, you know uh, promotho said promotho actually sent a car saying that he he has seen lot of things for your family and told the entire family to come with me yeah, you know he told you to take entire family to to go to a particular place at the edge of the city come there is a house for you okay no problem and he has bought all the things fish rice and all understood whatever is necessary then they were taken to a two story building and the building was left by the by one of the muslims understood earlier but as it was a hindu dominated area after the separation of the country that muslims went to bangladesh do you get it do you understand what i'm saying and then what happened mullika now came to the new address now she sat with her feet stretched against the wall and now she says finally i got the job now her husband is getting well gradually but to a boy and a girl came to them before they left for the new house they came and said mullika thing actually they did not know the name of mullika at that time they said you listen to us a boy maybe he a boy and a girl they were either 20 or 22 understood they tried to make mullika understand the truth behind what promotho was doing understood but mullika was quite aware she knows but she has to feed her family she has to keep all the members of her family alive so she did not turn down their request they did not want understood to reject what the offer given by promotho they decided to go along with mallika you get it they entered the car they went to the new address they started living there then he saw many things who bhushan but bhushan as he is a patient understood as he is not physically well what can he do he is just a man without job a man without ability a man who has fallen victim to the pain of separation of the country what can he do he is just a mute spectator and the person who can do something is mullika mullika said no problem let's leave here and see what fate holds in store for us they waited for the events to surface that's how the story uh, taking the story started taking a new turn 
suddenly ramlochan again came and said molika bhushan and your like uh, sister in law asha understood should live here and you should come with me then molika said ramlochan tell promotho today i am not feeling well and i am not going i am sending my sister in law asha asha was frightened asha thought as i am going somewhere understood for the first time i don't know the man i don't know this country i don't know where i am i am not even familiar with where i am so how can i trust this man sent by promotho so she was shivering with fear then suddenly ramlochan opened his mouth and said it is not asha who is now wanted it is you who is wanted are you ready to come with me then mullika said okay if my sister in law is not expected then i am left with no alternative except to go wait i am going then mullika went with whom ramlochan to the place where promotho lived so promotho lived a new building it's a new building in which promotho lived and the earlier house at the edge of the city was two story building they were given understood the ground floor the room on the ground floor they start occupied the ground floor do you get it they started living there but the new house where she came with ramlochan is a different one it was the house where promotho lived understood as soon as mullika entered the house promotho said oh mullika i'm very happy you are really the most beautiful woman and then she actually thought why is she appreciating my beauty but you please put off your shabby clothes buy wear this new dresses new clothes new sarees i have bought for you then she said okay no problem she put on the dress that she put on the sarees blouse whatever dresses were given then even some food was given to her she ate the food and then she was feeling happy and then suddenly promotho came and said oh do one thing i am really very happy understood you look really very beautiful and you know just you don't have to work anywhere you just come for me only whenever i need you understood and you don't have to work anywhere you just keep me happy this is what i want and then suddenly promotho drew her close to him and said mullika this is how i want you bringing her very close to him and keeping her in his arms mullika said he wants what i never expected from him this is the reason mullika got very angry he said he wants to enjoy me before he sends me to others that is the reason mullika got very angry you know promotho bought a bottle of whiskey and something so catching hold understood of the bottle of whiskey he just hit she struck his head he fell drove he fell senseless he knew who promotho knew that this was not what she wanted that is the reason she struck me she hit me with this bottle in her hand mullika decided to kill him so she started looking for a gun in the house but she did not get anything she now 
tore a piece of her cloth understood or sari and formed a loop and put it over her over his head and tightened the grief and he started struggling for breath then he suffocated to death and now mullika went back he got lots of money lot of money in his pocket taking out the money from his pocket understood she decided to go to the place where her husband her son kokon and her sister in law asha lived she went to that place but before she left that house where she left the dead body of promotho she told the gate keeper understood who had also guns not to enter the house until the their master called them understood leaving the house she went to the place and when asha saw understood the new form the new you know uh, mullika mullika was lo- not looking like how she looked earlier she changed mullika said don't feel frightened don't be afraid of who i am looking like now i want to tell you one thing from now onwards you will not have any problems because i have got money now you people will be very happy and now what i will do i will go to the stations where lot of sharks understood are waiting for us and i have a knife now i will frighten them with a knife so this is how i have found a way out this is the reason manik bandopadhyay named the story final solution this is how she found the final solution to the problem do you get it problem of the people who left bangladesh and entered india in search of a new life that is how the story ended so are you happy